you guys that really know a lot about getting those uh, System 80 stuff to run right. There's several things you can do to make it.
doing that. Crap, I'm...
Ted's coming. Ted's coming. Ted's, Ted's doing story time. Story time with Ted. Uncle Will's story time. That's right. Yeah. Excellent. And, uh, Scott Formiani is going to see you. Is he? Yeah. It was on the net. It was on the net, yeah. <laughs> I read it on the internet, it must be true. Yeah. It must be true. Like, that's right. Right. Yeah. 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 I'm Illinois. It's the Pat Lawler Show. Yeah. Sorry, our game show host, Pat Lawler. You know, the, pro the, the problem with modern pinball is that it's too big, too heavy, it sits in dark corners, it has mechanisms that break, and it's not a video game. Yay! <laughs> but hey, the good thing about pinball is that it's dark, heavy, sits in corners well, has wonderful toys you can play with, and it's not a video game. <laughs> Thanks for coming again this year. We always try and have a lot of fun when we do the Pat Lawler Show, and that's what this is all about. Fun. You get to get together for three days and talk about uh, your favorite hobby, or maybe your second favorite hobby, your third favorite hobby, whatever it is. Uh, and hopefully you get to meet some of the people who uh, make the games uh, and find out that we're really as screwed up as you think we are. <laughs> um, How many, I always do this at the beginning of the show before we introduce everybody, how many people are in the audience for the very first time this year? Wow. wow. So there are all these people who have no idea what they're in for. <laughs> okay, that'll be fun. Um, I, want, I want to start out by thanking uh, thanking a bevy of people very quickly. I want to thank Rob for having us back again this year. Uh, it's always uh, a pleasure to do this. Um, I'd like to thank uh, all of the, uh, the hardworking engineers uh, slash management at Williams, uh, who are, uh, many of which are surrounding you in this room, uh, for delving through their, uh, their personal goodie collections to bring you some of the stuff that we're gonna give away today. Um, without their willing to do this, we couldn't be willing to give you all this good stuff to take home so that you can put it in a trash can pack on your own. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, this is from me to you guys. Thank you all very much for doing that. I appreciate it. Um, and of course, uh, I need to thank the, uh, the, the, uh, the panel of experts behind me who will uh, enlighten you as to the inner workings of the pinball world. Um, I need to thank uh, one other person. Uh, we're going to be playing a game today. We're going to, uh, we're going to, today we're going to play a version of The Price is Right. <clears throat> and, uh, but I need to thank Steve Kordek uh, uh, from the bottom of my heart. Uh, Steve went to a huge amount of trouble and time to, uh, to pull some of the, uh, the brochures for the games that we're going to put up on overheads here. Uh, and, uh, and 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 uh, research what they uh, what they were worth back in 1936, uh, so that we could play the game. And I need to thank Steve Cordex. Steve, thank you very much. Okay, ground rules. Ground rules are simple. Um, as in regards to questions. Uh, uh, for for the people on the panel and myself or whatever, uh, the questions um, uh, we we don't answer questions about our competition because we don't know anything about what our competition does and it wouldn't be fair. Um, we uh, we try to uh, not answer any questions about current projects that may may or may not be being built at Williams right now. Um, Probably talk to our competition about some of that. Uh, <laughs> um, that's 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 off limits. Uh, personal questions may be off limits. For example, if you were to say to Roger, "Were you in Paris when Princess Di crashed?" 
and why were you there? Roger himself, if it had to do with pinball, might answer it. <laughs> but if it didn't, it's a personal question and only he cares. Um, so those are the rules. Uh, we're going to play The Price is Right today. And, uh, and the way we're going to do that is pretty simple. We're going to uh, do our normal. I'm going to, to get a question from the audience. You're going to ask one of your questions. Our panel of experts is going to enlighten you about pinball. Uh, at the end of that, uh, I'd like you to remain standing. Then Roger's going to, to begin with, pull three of those magic numbers that you have in your hand. Uh, you three people are going to be the contestants in the game. The person who asked the question gets to pick one of you that he's going to kind of hop a ride with, and if you win, he wins. Okay. Uh, and then, then we're gonna then we're gonna put up a picture of a game. We're gonna tell you what year it was. The three people are going to name the suggested <coughs> retail price of the game. And I want to be very clear about something. Okay. Since in this business there usually isn't a suggested retail price of a game, it's whatever somebody can get out of you for the game, okay? What we did was we know the, we know the cost of the game as it went out of the factory, okay? But I, I, can't, I can't just blurt that out, okay? That's something we're not allowed to do. So we took a standard markup, applied it against that, and that's what these prices are. So, so I, I don't want you rushing up to me after the show, after you've lost a prize, and go, you know, I bought one of those at my distributor, and it really cost this much. Okay, so no, it, it, you know, when, when we're all done and said, whatever we thought it might be is, is what it is, and it's because we're all here to have fun, okay? The rules of the price is right for those of you who have never seen the game show because it was like really old, but now you can see it on the game show channel over and over and over and Woo! sick of it. Um, is you name the price that you think the game was sold for, okay? If you go over the price that the game sold for, Beulah the buzzer will shock you right out of the game, okay? If you're under it, you're in the running. The person who is the closest to the suggested retail price of the game is the winner, and lovely Lewis here will give you a prize that you will, I promise, enjoy. If you have lost, if you are one of the two contestants who, who blew it, okay, you get to remain standing. We're going to pick one more number, and then you get to stand up there, and we'll keep Come on down. You. <laughs> okay, and so you, you, get, you get two chances, and if at the end of two chances, eh, you finally get to sit down and you're a loser, and we'll get somebody else <laughs> Personally embarrassed by the Williams team, that's right. Now, now, please note that this game will evolve, the rules will change as we go along, so that Pat will be demonstrating to the exact process of designing a game. <laughs> and as uh, we know that the seminar is scheduled to end at 5 o'clock, uh, games never get thoroughly designed on time, so I'm sure we'll be here till 7 or 8. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're gonna, what I want to do is I want these guys to please uh, 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 tell you who they are, what they do at Williams, uh, a little bit about uh, like what games or what their background is, and then we're gonna we're gonna like uh, rock and roll here. We're gonna start this show so we can start with Lewis. Please, <laughs> I'm your prize coordinator for this evening. <laughs> uh, my name is Lewis Coziers. I'm a programmer for Williams. Uh, my last two games were No Good Gophers and Arabian Nights. My name's Ted Estes, and up until about a year ago, I was manager of the pinball software department. I, and, uh, I kept the uh, software engineers in line. Uh, now I've moved over to the uh, slot machine uh, video casino product line. Um, well, those guys that I taught them all I know to um, are carrying on the, the uh, pinball uh, uh, torch. Uh, last game I worked on with Pat was uh, Roadshow. My name is Larry DeMar, and in a former life I was known as the guy in the suit. So I decided to uh, get with the program this year. Um, I am the director of I'm the director of engineering uh, of the Williams Pinball Group, um, and so being in management that means I do nothing. Uh, I used to uh, don't let him kid you. He goes to more meetings than anyone you've ever met. <laughs> 
And um, I have the, uh, the whole design group uh, working for me, the uh, really most talented, dedicated group of people uh, you can imagine uh, creating all this fun stuff. And, uh, I really envy them because uh, I'd love to jump in there and join them most of the time. Uh, Roger Sharp, Director of Licensing. Uh, for those who sat through last night, you know that this is just one of the greatest things for me to do, which is to sit in front of an audience <laughs> locked in. Um, let's see, last two games I did, uh, Cyclops and Sharpshooter 2. Oh, that's yeah. my different era. <laughs> last, two, last two projects, I guess, uh, Universal Monsters uh, for Monster Bash, and uh, do we dare talk about the enemy? Uh, NFL Blitz. <laughs> I sense it still in the crowd. <laughs> okay, with that, uh, that, that humble beginning, what we're going to do is we're going to get going here. I need to take a question from the audience, and because Roger's the most uncomfortable, make sure it's directed at him. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Sir, what's your first name? Nate, Nate. Nate. Come on, what's your question? Um, like everyone wants to hear. Our question was, what is, what's the meaning of the video mode in Junkyard for uh, 1990? Oh, well, we just well, happen to have a Junkyard uh, what was the question? program designer here. <laughs> <laughs> the other video mode is a raw game. What is the May 2000? Is that Okay, the, the, the oh, question is in Junkyard, what's the, night what, what is the meaning of the video mode? Well, Night Mission isn't a video mode. Night Mission is a, a mode. It's a guess at a mode that's a, in a game upcoming in the future. That's that's. And since we can't talk about the future, I can't talk about the rest. <laughs> does, that, does that answer your question? Yeah. It's, yeah. It, was, it was a guess. I work with him, and I have no idea. <laughs> You're talking about the time machine mode, right? The yeah. time machine mode, night mission, right? In the time machine mode, if the year goes forward, I think to '99. I forgot. <laughs> in, a, in a parallel yeah. universe. Right. Yeah. It, um, it stops there and it's, you pl you're playing a mode from a game that's going to take place in 99. Okay. Maybe you think. Okay, so, oh, maybe you think. so, so, a guess. so do our games confuse you? <laughs> okay, now what we need to do is we need three, three numbers quickly, Roger. Three numbers quickly. Chris Ross. Okay. <laughs> Contestant number one, what would be your guess as to the selling price of this game in 1934? I'm sorry? $39. Okay, sir, what would be your guess for the selling price of this game in 1934? 23 23 And sir? $48. Okay, Lewis, which one of our contestants is the winner? Ninety-two fifty. Okay. Okay. So, so that makes you the winner, right? I think so. Okay, Lewis. What do we have for this gentleman? Please choose prize one. Or not the winner. Where's the jackpot? Three, three. Like. Door number three, he gets a t-shirt. And the unfortunate thing is, you're done. <laughs> but it was a good question. But it was a good question and we enjoyed it. Okay, we need a question from somebody in the audience. We need... Quickly. Man. <laughs> That's a great question. Since, since Rudy came first, was he born on a footlock? <laughs> Rudy is related to Red and Ted. Okay? They make a reference in Roadshow, okay, to Ted makes a reference in Roadshow to Red's stupid brother Rudy on the East Coast, okay? And yes, they're related, it's, it's Red's brother. Rudy is Red's brother. Okay. So, 
series on WB. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we need a number, Roger. Uh, I just want to go last three digits. 578. Who has a ticket? Well, there you go. Okay, which one of these gentlemen would you like to try and help you win a prize? That one right there? Okay. One in the uh, gray sweatshirt. Okay, good. Okay, Lewis comes up with the next game. This game was done in 1935. It is Try a Light. Okay, and I'm going to give you a hint. This is in the middle of the Depression. And it's, it's actually going to shock you compared with the last game you saw. Okay. So, this time, contestant number one, what would you like to guess that this game cost? $66. Contestant number two? $59. Contestant number three? $74. $74. Uh, <laughs>
inside looking for 